For those of us in the Western world, powering our lives seems almost automatic. But for the billions of people globally living in energy poverty, the lack of large company infrastructure or government investment leaves them with few options. New York's startup Biolite is working to change the energy market structure. In emerging markets, we think that energy is going to be owned by the individual and that it's going to be purchased in these bite-sized, affordable uh, portions that get owned and controlled at the family level. Using their own patented technology, Biolite is creating clean energy solutions that allow low-income consumers to generate their own off-grid power. But with 4 million deaths a year linked to indoor pollution, this power source cuts out the smoke that traditional biomass fuels produce. With our technology and the air injection, we're able to reduce that smoke by 90% uh, and really make an impactful benefit on human health. Here's how it works. The thermal energy from the burning stove powers an internal fan, which changes the combustion level and generates a clean burning flame. Users can then charge their electronic devices via a built-in USB. The outdoor camping stove retails for $130 in Western markets, while the larger home stove is sold in India and Sub-Saharan Africa for just $50. It's a business model that Biolite calls parallel innovation. What we're able to do is take this higher margin, near-term, accessible, well-developed market and use the revenue from that market to reinvest not in a charity model for emerging markets, but in the one-time investments it takes to get those markets to the scale where they can sustain themselves. The company has raised $10 million so far, with Acumen, Deutsche Bank and RRE Ventures contributing to their latest $5 million round. Next up is a move into energy storage. Over 2.5 billion people have little to no access to electricity. Biolite's latest development allows people to store electricity from their stove to power electric lighting. The renewable energy sector is growing at its fastest ever pace, according to the latest numbers from the International Energy Agency, and is expected to fuel 26% of global electricity by 2020. We need to continue to see as the cost trajectory continue to decline. It's very possible you know, by 2050 or so where you can see a majority of our energy needs coming from renewables. And I think at this point it's just going to take time. But the hefty initial investment costs, large government subsidies required and falling price of oil are causing renewable investments to decline in many developing countries. So though the demand for energy in emerging markets is huge, the need for innovation is just as big. In New York, I'm Amelia Martin-Hempel for The Street.